morning. This is where I camped last night. Not in a field, not wild camping, no. I, um, I'm coming up the north coast of De um, Cornwall. I'm just about to go into Devon. And um, on my map there was only one one pub on the way. So I need, I need pubs to um, charge my phone, to refill my water, that sort of thing. And um, yeah, so I stopped by here, it's probably about seven o'clock and um, the landlord said I could just sleep in the garden, which is incredibly, incredibly nice of him. So it's the, the Bush Inn and it's a, it's a beautiful little pub. Um, and like I said, it's the only one for miles. There's not even many houses around here. And it also has an outhouse, which means I can fill up my water and most importantly, it means I can have a sh business uh, in an actual toilet, which is a bit of a luxury these days. And it's apt that the last camping spot I have in Cornwall is, um, is somewhere that's been offered to me by someone that's just incredibly neighbourly, good-hearted, um, yeah, just, just kindness. Kindness for kindness sake, you know. Brilliant. I'm going to get packed up and I'm going to try and get to, to Westwood Ho, which is, is a long way away. Um, might not happen today. So yeah, I'd better get cracking. There it is. It's the end of Cornwall and I'm back into Devon, North Devon. Let's, uh, let's walk over together, shall we? Oh. Genuinely gutted to be leaving Cornwall. You probably know that. I've been banging on about it for ages. But uh, it's just something about it. Good attitude towards life, looking after other people, being neighbourly, helping each other out. I've had no problems with asking people if I can camp in their garden or, you know, last night the landlord just let me camp in the beer garden, you know. Name one place in London that would do that. So I've been road walking today. Um, it's a bit hairy at times, but it does mean that it's nice and flat the whole way. So my knees, he's doing all right. And, uh, and it means I get to do, I get loads of miles under my belt. Um, obviously with that, I need to take extra good care of my feet, uh, which I thought I was doing, but then I stayed with, um, I don't know if you remember me saying he didn't want to be named, so it's Carol Poborski now. Carol Poborski told me that I should be taking off my shoes whenever I can to air, air my feet, because um, your feet sweat, obviously. So, boots are down there, socks, airing just up there. I'm just going to throw on some talc that, um, that Fraser gave me, the... Um, the Lance Corporal that I spent the other day with. Um, so yeah, the people I'm meeting giving me good advice, giving me supplies, all coming in good use. So just gonna, I'm just gonna be quite liberal with this. I'm just gonna go, just just go ahead and, you know, that's what you're after. Just absolutely cover uh, your, your screen and um, and your feet also with, with talcum powder. And you know, that's, that's about all you need to do. And it will soak up all that moisture and hopefully no one walks by while I'm doing it because that can look a bit weird. So just give them another minute, um, let them air out, let them dry, everything back on and crack on. And I will check in again when I'm in the hoe, in, in Westwood hoe, not uh, a hoe. Um, it's not that sort of trip, but in Westwood hoe, I'll check it again. <laughs> All right, better crack on. So I didn't reach my destination. I didn't find the hose in the end. Um, I'm about four miles short, but I am pooped to say the least. And I'm being a bit cheeky. I've found a nice field right next to a big holiday resorty camp thing I don't really know what they are so I'm camping for free just next to it but using the facilities so 
Let's hope I don't get caught. I'm sure I won't. I've been quite smart about where I'm camping, so yeah, looking forward to seeing my mate Chav tomorrow. He's going to meet me in Biddeford, Bideford, something like that. Uh, yeah, can't wait to see you, man. And I hope everyone's having a pleasant evening. And yeah, take care. I'll check in tomorrow.